Hey guys, all right, we're almost done, we're almost there. Um, what I want to do now is I want to be able to mark a task complete. All right, so if we go into a list and click on a task, you can see that it's incomplete, which means that it's active. And I want to be able to click this mark complete and have it completed. I want, and then it will show um, down here as as complete. All right, so once we mark it complete, we want to be redirected back to this page to its list. So what we need to do is go to let's go to the view, let's go to the task view. Uh, of show the show view and you can see this mark complete link uh, it goes to the base URL and then the task controller and then the mark complete method and we pass in the task ID alright so we need to create that so we'll go to the task controller we'll say public function mark new I'm sorry mark new mark complete and we need to pass in the task ID and what we're going to do is we're going to create a function inside the model called mark new and that will interact with the database so I'm going to put that in an if statement if this task model mark new we're going to pass in the task ID which comes from the URL. Alright, so if marked new, then we want to get the list ID that that task is in because we want to redirect to it. So list ID equals this task model. Um, we're going to say get task list ID. Get task list ID which of course we need to pass in a task ID and then we're just going to set a message and redirect alright and we're going to redirect to list slash show slash list ID which we'll get from the model so we have two model functions or methods that we have to create so let's go to our task model and we'll go down here create the mark new okay so what we're gonna do is say this DB set and this is basically an update we're gonna use set to update it we're gonna update the um, is complete value so set uh, we want to set is complete we want to set it to 1 and this db where we want to say where id is equal to the task id that we pass it and then we're going to do an update so this db update and we just want to put in the name of the table which is tasks and then we're just going to return true Okay. The next one we want to do is that get task list ID. Pass in that task ID. Okay, and we're just going to do a where statement with a where clause, whatever. Whoop. We want to say this DB where. ID is equal to task ID and now we just want to create a query variable get whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm going to put in the table name And then we just want to return 
query row and we want to return just the ID so this will be row list ID All right so that this list ID is coming from if I can just show you it's coming from here in the task table the list ID alright so once we get that we should be able to redirect to it once we mark it complete so let's just cross our fingers and try this out alright so we'll say test task okay syntax error on task model line 68 oh sorry about that pick up kids um cannot redeclare get task list ID oh what did I already have it here yeah I did alright sorry about that I just I already had that method here from earlier so alright so now we're in the task let's try to mark it complete okay it says the task has been marked new we just need to change that and let's go to the view to see if uh, we want tasks show view alright so we want to be able to mark it new as well um, and you can see we have the link here so it's going to go to um, tasks slash mark new so basically we'll just copy this and we just want to do the opposite say mark new alright so and then in the model looks like we already have marked new oh, is it, I must have did that I must have did that before so let's just copy that and we'll make this one mark complete alright and mark new should set it to zero it should set is complete to zero and mark complete sets it to one okay mark new mark complete and I want to go to the list show view and make sure we have marked complete and marked new alright so now let's try to go to a completed task and mark it new. All right, so that moved up here, and we'll say mark complete, and that didn't. All right, that one's not marking complete. Um. And I just seen the reason for that is in marked complete we're still passing it to the marked new in the model, so that has to be marked complete. All right, so that should work. So now if we go into a, uh, an active task and click mark complete, it goes down into the completed tasks, and we can do the same thing. We can mark these new. All right. Now one thing that we did kind of skip or miss is that if we delete a list right now, uh, it's not going to delete the tasks from that list. All right. So for instance, if we delete the work stuff list, we'll just, we're still going to have project is due. Uh, that task is still going to be hanging around. So we need to fix that, which is pretty easy. Uh, if we go to our list model. Um, you can already see on, when we delete a list, it's calling this delete tasks of list. Uh, so we just need to create this in this model. If it says this and then a, a method, that means that the method is in this model. All right, so I'm going to grab that. And this is going to be really easy, just a couple lines. We're going to say where the list ID equals list ID 
in tasks, then we're going to delete. We're going to delete that. All right. So we'll save this and let's just check out the tasks in PHP my admin. And let's see. We have one this project is due task is in the work list. All right. So let's just delete the work list work stuff or whatever and we'll click delete list and it's been deleted and now if we go and check out the tasks this project is due should disappear which it does alright so that's just um, it's just protecting your your data so you don't have old tasks hanging around that don't even have a apparent list so it's very important to keep that in mind with all your projects you always want to delete um, anything you can that that's a child of something that you delete alright so the last thing I want to do is just add our latest tasks onto the home page so if we go to our home uh, we want to go to our home view and under this table I'm going to post that in which is basically the same kind of thing except it's our tasks and not our list and I'm not sure if we set this in our controller yet so let's check the home controller and we got the lists so let's uncomment this which is going to give us our tasks in the task model we want to see uh, we want to create this get users task method so let's copy that and task model and we're just going to paste this in. All right, so we're passing a user ID, and we're doing that so that we only get the tasks for our user. We don't want other users' tasks to show up in our in our admin area. All right, so we're saying where the list user ID is equal to our user ID. All right, and if we look in uh, tasks, you can see that there is a um, there isn't a user. Oh, I'm sorry, lists. We want to go to lists, and you can see that there's a list user ID. Okay. So let's save that, and we're also ordering it by the create date. And you can change that if you want. So if we reload, there's all our tasks. We can view each one. Okay, we can delete a task. We go home that's you can see that that's gone so that's it our project is complete and it, this was a little longer than I expected I apologize uh, and I apologize if I if I went too fast at times copying and pasting um, but if I just type everything out then um, it just gets a little uh, tiring <laughs> so um, thanks for watching I hope that you learned a lot and you can now add code igniter to your skill set. Thanks.